Welcome to Code Station 33. I'm your instructor, Mr. McLaughlin. Let's get started. So today we are back to looking at Arduino programming. This is unit one, lesson one. What really is Arduino? Well, first off, it's not just a product. It is not a single board piece of equipment. It turns out it's a collection of open source microcontrollers. Now these microcontrollers contain small bits of code called bootloaders. And those bits of code continuously run once the board is powered up and they repeat the same action over and over and over again. Now, it also includes what's called an integrated development environment, which is also known as an IDE. We're going to be using an IDE that comes through a piece of software on the internet, so you can do it on any computer whatsoever, called Tinkercad. In addition, we have all these things called Arduino libraries, which is collections of bits of code that people have already written for us that we can include into our projects. So once we understand some of the basics about how Arduino works and how code works, we don't have to start from scratch. We can include some of the bits of code that other people have made to make some really, really cool projects. They also come in all different kinds of sizes. These um, Arduino boards come in medium size, large size, some sizes that are the size of my thumb. And you can include them in all different kinds of projects from lighting up Christmas lights to controlling uh, <clears throat> heat sensors on refrigeration devices to creating buttons that can order things on Amazon for you. So we can also add lots of different components. We can add LEDs and motors to build robots. And we can even add more microcontrollers and buzzers and uh, Bluetooth devices. All kinds of things can be added to these different microcontrollers and use code in order to create a really, really awesome experience. So that's a little bit about what is inside these microcontrollers. But let's dive in in the next lesson and find out a little bit more about these microcontrollers. Thanks for watching.